My affiliation with ACGT, I'm a member of the Scientific Advisory Council. We're involved in reviewing grants uh, and then for in meetings such as today, providing scientific advice and guidance for the foundation to help further identify those kinds of research that are important to fund. The most exciting advance, I would put it as the one most advanced, is the development of checkpoint antibodies and they've really identified how to release the immune system to fight cancer globally. However, checkpoint antibodies are probably not sufficient and the approaches that ACGT is supporting, that is using gene-based or cell-based therapeutics to fight cancer, the two approaches that we talked about today were oncolytic viruses and redirected T cells, either CAR T cells or TCR modified T cells. Pharmaceutical companies are actually quite excited. Amgen licensed at a relatively early stage uh, the product that was to become Emligic, that is the first gene modified fully replication competent oncolytic virus for the treatment of cancer. In the area of CAR T cells, there are multiple pharmaceutical companies that have partnered with biotech companies for the development of CAR T cells including Novartis, Celgene, and others. All of the approaches have shown promise, but the idea of using combination therapy, checkpoint antibodies together with cell and gene therapeutics, I think is the way cancer therapy is going to evolve. One needs a combination of non-specific immune activation, which the checkpoint antibodies provide, as well as very specific targeted approaches towards tumors, which either cell therapy, gene-modified cells, or oncolytic viruses can provide.